Let me thank the management of Kimberly Clark West Africa for the very kind invitation to be here to join you at this official commissioning of the new Kimberly Clark Huggies uh, Diapa Manufacturing Plant. This plant, I'm told, will serve Nigerian consumers with affordable, high quality diapers. And I'm told uh, it will produce something in the order of about 600 million diapers uh, every year. And uh, I'm told that with our 7 million uh, babies born every year, we're just 2 million behind the Chinese. So we are really uh, the largest possible market for diapers in the world, uh, coming second only to the Chinese. So I think uh, Kimberly Clark have chosen a very good place. We are told also that this will provide uh, thousands of jobs, uh, and I believe the first thousand or so is already in place, and we expect a further couple of thousands in the next three years. For the federal government, every new manufacturing plant is an important step towards our belief that it is private investment, both local and foreign, that must be the pathway to rapid economic growth with jobs and prosperity. This article of faith is the subtext that runs through our National Development Plan 2021 to 2025, uh, to which uh, the Honorable Minister of Budget and National Planning has already spoken. The plan envisages an investment commitment of something in the order of about 348 trillion naira over the plan period. And we expect that government at all levels will come up with 49.7 trillion, or about 14% of that entire sum, while the private sector is expected to invest 298 trillion, or about 86% of the entire sum. So the success of the plan depends greatly on a conscious reliance on private enterprise and initiative. So it's only, it only makes sense that the private sector is given every encouragement to play that role. And this commitment of the federal government is expressed in the strategic objectives of the plan itself, which includes establishing a strong foundation for a diversified economy, investing in critical infrastructure, roads, rail, power, and broadband, enabling human capital development, and improving governance and strengthening security. The implementation of the plan is expected to be supported by a range of fiscal, monetary, and trade measures, including more intentionally promoting productivity and value addition. And I think, uh, the, I think the governor of Lagos State alluded to that already. The central, the central thought behind the plan is that we must improve productivity and value addition. This will, of course, mean losing generalized restrictions on trade. Blanket importation restrictions are a dampener on economic activity because a lot of items that might be needed in the manufacturing process might be affected with consequent negative impact on value addition in the economy. It would also mean moving away from our instinctive demand management approach, managing limited resources, to producing and creating more in a competitive and sustainable manner. And this is especially so for foreign exchange, where we all agree that a more market-driven, managed float approach will attract more dollars and relieve the pressure on foreign exchange. Continuing our work more aggressively on improving the business environment is also critical. So the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council and as a special advisor, Dr. Jumoke Oduwale is here, has now commenced the seventh 60-day national action plan, which we call NAP 7.0, on ease of doing business. NAP 7.0 started on the 7th of February this year and will go on until the 7th of April this year. It aims to deepen the reforms delivered over the past five years with a focus on agro-exports, on process automation, on improvement in regulatory practices, judicial reforms, and in particular Executive Order 1 and uh, the report 
gov.ng compliance issues. We've highlighted key action items in all these focus areas to ensure that they do not unravel and to ensure that we drive sustainability. We spent many years, in the past five, six years, working on ease of doing business. Yes, we've reported a considerable improvement, but at the same time, there have been serious drawbacks as well, which is why NAP 7.0 is important, because it is absolutely critical for the success of our, of our economy that our ease of doing business reforms do not unravel. Some of the targets include removal of regulatory constraints around agro-exports, for example, driving electronic filing of taxes and publication of insolvency regulations, first one to the Companies and Allied Matters Act 2020. We're optimistic that a diligent implementation of the plan, especially its underlying fiscal and monetary policy measures, will be a real game changer for business and commerce in Nigeria. So let me again appreciate Kimberly Clark uh, for their work in Nigeria. In just about a decade since you opened your doors in Nigeria and with over $100 million invested, Kimberly Clark West Africa has grown from just being an investor in Nigeria to a formidable partner in the actualization of Nigeria's economic objectives by adding value through diversification from our non-oil sector. But also you have commendably made important social investments, and we've heard about quite a few already, including uh, your almost immediate uh, acceptance to sponsor uh, the dream catchers who danced just a, a moment ago. You're, champ you're championing the cause of women and girls across the country through your She Sabi initiative is one such remarkable contribution. And I'm informed that uh, the Kimberly Clark Foundation has made impressive investments and a commitment of something in the order of about a million dollars dedicated to improving sanitation and hygiene in Lagos State. There's also been an effort to reach vulnerable girls in some of the poorest communities in Nigeria through the distribution of hygiene, uh, hygiene, uh, hygiene menstrual hygiene uh, materials. One such outreach has been in Bauchi State, although I'm told you are in 10 different states. Thank you very much and well done. This factory, I trust, will only signal the beginning of greater investments in these and other sectors. With at least 7 million babies born every year, I think uh, there's a real market here. In a few minutes, I will have the special pleasure of uh, officially commissioning uh, the, the factory and ask that um, I be joined right here uh, to do so. Thank you very much. God bless Kimberly Clark and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.